Hello and welcome to Someca Orders and Invoicing Template. This tool mainly shows your monthly inventory need and helps on planning your sales by adjusting monthly inventory coverage depending on your forecasts. It is constructed of eight parts. These are customers, master data, planning, purchase orders, sales orders, delivery, product report, and lastly, charts and reports. So let's start with the customers. This section is the place where you save and record all of your customers and their details. All you have to do is complete the blank white cells with the customer details and later on save. However, if you do have a customer database, all you have to do is press the button load customers to unlock the database and later on go to your customer database, copy it and paste it as values and later on save changes. However, if there are also some new customers that you have to type in manually, all you have to do is complete the blank white cells and later on press the button save. So let's say Once you save it, the database is going to order it alphabetically according to the customer name column. Once you're done with your data, please press save changes. To be able to edit your company data, press edit. Type down your company name, your address, and later on, your logo. Those informations will be used to create dynamic invoices in the upcoming sheet tabs. Once you're done, press save. Now we may carry on with the master data. This section is the place where you use it as a product database. Put down their category, their description and other details and later on save. ABC class stands for 1, 2 and 3 months of inventory coverage of that product accordingly. Choose the right class according to your views. Like in the other sheet, if you do have a product database, Press load products and if you do also have the forecasts, please press edit forecast later on go to your data, copy it and paste it as values. If you do need to add a new product manually, let's say so let's make this B so we will always be prepared to have a two months of inventory coverage. And later on, save. You may edit the first month it from the data validation in here. Once you choose, the other months are going to change dynamically. So for the Cherry Queen, let's say for the first month, we think that we were able to sell 200 units. And later on, we presume that it is going to increase 50 for each month. Once you're done with your forecasts, save changes and later on save products.
The red arrows in this and other sections will help you to go easily to the direction which they point. You may also see the amount of SKUs on the top. Now we may carry on with the planning table. You may check the monthly coverage, inventory, forecast, sales and error percentage of each product. Coverage stands for the monthly inventory coverage. Depending on your class choice, it shows you when to order how much of products from suppliers. Error stands for the percentage gap between the actual sales and your forecasts. The greater the gap, the bigger the error percent. If there's a specific product you're looking for, choose it from the drop-down menu and press the button Go. Now we may carry on with the purchase order. To be able to sell your products, first you must have enough inventory. To be able to tell the template that there are enough products to sell, input your purchase orders to the necessary columns. If you have Someca Supply and Inventory template, you may copy the values there, press Import Data button and later on paste the values of the purchase order from Someca Supply and Inventory template. or you may type manually. On the month part, type the last day of the month. Be careful to keep the codes same with the master data codes. Let's say that we will be buying Cherry Queen and the code is D1049 so D1049 and it's in the drinks category let's say we bought two thousands of units, units and let's say it is received. If the purchase orders, the status column, is active, it means that the purchase order hasn't been closed yet. You can hold your purchase orders like that. Once you're done with your purchase orders, press Save Data. Now we may carry on with the sales orders. Select the customer that you're going to sell your product and press Set New Order. Choose the product that you're going to sell. Type in the quantity and discount if you're going to apply any. So, you may add multiple products in this section and once you're done, press Save Order. If your sales order number exceeds your inventory number, your sales order status will be pending instead of invoiced and it is going to be a back order. This situation will continue like that until you purchase sufficient amount of that product from the purchase order section. Once you're done, your sales order will be displayed in the end of your sales order database. Now we may carry on with the delivery. When you would like to release your delivery, select your sales order from the drop down button. You may check your sales order number from the sales order section. Choose the sales order number and press 
Find sales order button. It is going to bring the product properties such as the sales order quantity and inventory. If you notice that there are some mistakes or discrepancies in the quantity, press edit sales order. Once you press, the table will allow you to change the quantity and the discount. If the product is mistyped, press delete sales order button and create a new sales order. So let's say we were going to sell 300s instead of 200s. Just input the new number and press enter. Let's assume that we weren't going to apply any discount on bacon pizza and cherry queen. So delete these numbers and then save changes. If you need to apply a credit note, you may input the amount in here. Press confirm. And once you confirm, you'll be able to see the amount of credit note in here. If your inventory level still doesn't match your sales order number yet, you release it, the template will only allow to generate cash from the existing inventory and save the rest of the sales order number as back order, which you may display in the chart section. To be able to display an invoice you have created before, select customer from here Confirm customer and select the relevant invoice number from the drop down menu button. And later on, press Find Invoice. If you would like to get a clean PDF version of the invoice you created, press Send Invoice to PDF button, and this button will save the invoice into your computer. Now we may carry on with the product report. This section shows you the product details of a chosen product from the drop down menu button on the top. Choose the product and chart starting date. Once you do it, you will be able to see the planning scenario for the product chosen, the inventory forecast, planned orders, the inventory coverage, and the actual sales of starting from that month. You will be also able to see the sales and inventory reports. So you remember the time when we didn't have any inventory for bacon pizza and apple tea. Yet we released the delivery, however, it didn't generate in the invoice, but it saved it as back orders. So we had enough inventory for Cherry Queen and we sold them and we generated three thousands of dollars. However, we didn't have any inventory for bacon pizza and apple tea. So these are the back orders and the revenue generated from the back orders. And in this section, it shows the required classification. In this case, we chose B for Cherry Queen, but according to our forecasts and planning, the template is telling us Cherry Queen to be better a C class. And lastly, charts and reports. This section shows you the category properties of your sales, back orders and your customers. In the example we have done together, we haven't sold 
any other categories except the Cherry Queen and its category was drink. In here you can see the sold quantities, the cumulative forecast, the error, the total sales and the gross margin in dollars. You may see the charts are designed for category and for monthly. You may see the sales quantity versus forecast by category in here. Select the category and then display the results according to the columns. You will be able to see the chart right in the left side of the template. You may also set the beginning date of the chart. In this section you may see the properties of your back orders. In this September case you remember the back orders that we released the delivery although there were no inventory. So the properties, the numbers or the figures we're displaying in here is their property. And also in here we can see the total amount for back orders in a chart month by month. And in this section we, we are able to display the customers in terms of their volume trade. In this case we only had one customer so we display only one big line in this chart. So let's say that we will generate another new order to Lasinia Incorporated. Set new order. Cheesecake. 200. And then with no discount, we're saving the order. We're able to see it in the last row. The invoice number is 1001. Dash 90. Let's say there is no credit note and let's say release delivery. Once you release the delivery, the template is going to update itself automatically and you will be able to see the result in here and also in here as well. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net